Hey guys, Brian from the PT channel here to talk about Walker Stalker Con. Um, for those who don't know, Walker Stalker Convention is a convention that started about two years ago uh, by a company or a group of people, and they um, started a couple different conventions throughout the uh, in the in the country. Uh, they wanted to get you know really the Walker Stalker Convention going with the hype of Walking Dead. Now, what they found is that. There is a great number of Walking Dead fans, zombie fans, horror fans, sci-fi fans, just like that with all the conventions of Comic-Con and everything. And they found out a couple of good things in there. Now I've been to two conventions and they're pretty awesome. And if you like The Walking Dead, you'll definitely want to go for sure. You can meet a lot of the celebrities there. Greg Nicotero is there. Norma Reedus is usually there. A bunch of people are there. Now I can't say who's usually there or not all the time because that varies based on location and spot there too. Now they have a bunch of different um, booking conventions for next year, 2016, because it's November 2015 right now. The last one for the year is in December in New York, New Jersey area. I forget where that one actually is. I'm not going to that one, but it's one to look at. WalkerStalkerCon.com is their website. They got a Facebook page, a bunch of different things on there too. This is going to be a video about their basically how to survive the Walker Stalker Convention, but actually how to maximize your time, save money, and really just have the best time for the budget that you can without really going overboard. All right, guys, Walker Stalker Con. Now, the big thing you want to do is get tickets through a couple different vendors you can get. You can get them through Groupon, which is the best by far for general passes. You can usually get them about a month out or so, so start checking Groupon. If you haven't already, check Groupon for things. You can get some good deals on there for everything. Um, the tickets will be half price. Um, they're, they're buying a single ticket at a time, or you can get a couple different tickets, but they're usually about half the price of there, too. General admission is usually about $55. You pay for the day. Sometimes it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or just Saturday and Sunday based on the convention. And the other tickets are the VIP tickets, or the higher echelon of tickets. In my eyes, it's not totally worth it to get that much. A platinum VIP ticket for the New York, New Jersey Walker Stalker Convention is $1,400 a ticket. The gold is $700 a ticket, and the three-day VIP pass is $270. The Norman Reedus VIP is $400, the Michael Rucker is $320, the Emily Keeney is $320, the Vampire Diaries that are going to be there are $360 each, or $500 for both of the VIP pass for the two guys that are there. The Friday, Saturday, general admission for the weekend, Oh, Friday through Sunday, sorry, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The general admission is $120. Saturday alone is $55. Children 10 and under are free with a paid adult. So that's basically the tickets in a nutshell. Um, we did general admission because we thought it was better to spend our money in other places. Um, we, bought, we bought other things on there too. So as you can see, we bought a hat, shirt. Um, this guy in Atlanta we just went to, it's an awesome thing. I don't know if you can see the, the Walker Stalker emblem on there. But um, it's basically just a, you know, a, a mug. But it was twenty-five dollars for this one. They sold it different for twenty dollars. It was only in Atlanta. We didn't see it in the Orlando one we went to. But it was unlimited refills of soda or water or things from the machines, and it was awesome because you got unlimited drinks out of it, and it's awesome keepsake. I don't know how many people asked us about this. But they're awesome to get. If they're there, it was a booth. It was like a food truck kind of thing. Um, souvenir cups or mugs is what they were at. So check and look for that to see if they're there. I don't know if they travel with it, but it's definitely an awesome thing. The other thing you need to have is the survival guide. You can download their app um, through your phone, through uh, Google Play or um, Apple Store. But ultimately, this is what you have to have because it gives you a layout of the convention but who cares about that? You can walk around for that. But also it's this, the panel schedule and also the, the photo op schedule of it. The photo op schedule is extremely important for a couple of different reasons because your booths might change. Now the other thing when you get an epic photo through there, which I recommend going this way, is it might say group two on there. So we thought it was group two. We got to the thing, we went to group two because there's one, two, three, and four. And they were like, oh, have you started we're calling for Denai Guerrero, who plays Michonne, because she's awesome and we want to get a picture with her. No, we haven't started yet. The volunteers are in the blue shirts. The volunteers are pretty much useless for 90% of them. If you have a great volunteer who knows what they're doing or, doc or talks with an administrator or something that's actually getting paid for that, deal with them, because not every volunteer knows what they're talking about. Predominantly, most of them don't. So 
we were in the wrong booth. Denai Guerrero was supposed to be at 1.30. We were in booth two. She was in booth one. So we had to wait in the back of the line for that too. Basically, what they have are VIPs, different packages of them, if they're a person, a different kind of VIP, and then general admission. They get It's just the ranking of who goes in to, for their picture at, at first. Now, we had a couple different pictures. And when you, when you get a picture, you get a... a um, a printout of it. You need to bring this ticket with you because they scan this and you can get a printout. We got the two prints and a digital copy JPEG. It costs a little bit more, but that's the best way to go is to get as many prints as you can. You go and get the picture. You walk in the booth. You deny it was there or whatever. So here's one example of our cast photo that we had. My father and I went to the Orlando one and you can see it was pretty awesome to meet all those people. You're, only, you're in and out and you know, less than a minute or so, but we shook hands with as many as people we could have talked to, as many as we people we talked to. Michael Cutlass on the end there, Abraham, was awesome. We got to talk to him for a little bit. Bob, Morgan, Aaron on there was on the way out. We shook hands and everything was awesome. But the cast photo was very expensive, but it was, it was worth it because you're paying for both of us with one uh, price. So my dad and I, for the price of the, the picture, got in there. We got the extra photo print and the JPEG. Now, you have to get this guy. Very important to protect your picture. These are $5. They probably cost them 10 cents, but they charge $5 for the print. It's an eight by 10 size, so if you already have these or you can get these somewhere else, because when the photo prints, it comes out of the print and like, here you go, and they hand it to you. That's gonna get damaged if you put it in a bag or something like this. What are you gonna do with this thing? You have to buy this to protect it. They got you. If you have these already from other conventions or other things like that, bring them. They're the same thing. It's very important to have that in there, but they're $5 each to there. So we have our supply of these now because we've got a bunch of pictures. So we want to bring those as well. You got to protect it as well um, for the printouts there by that. The other way to go is to get a badge or go in to see the booths. Now for those, it's me just talking about it, but check out our other videos. We have an Orlando one and Atlanta one. Just go and you'll see what the actual booths look like to where the celebrities are and the guests are. But you have to go wait in line or pay in the VIP line. They have a VIP line and a general admission. So if you pay extra money, you get to go to VIP and get, you know, quicker access to the person. You go up to talk to the person. Selfies or picture are about 50 bucks or 60 bucks, depending on the celebrity. If you want to get an autograph, I think that's another 40 or 50 bucks. So a, a selfie on your phone and an autograph, that's a hundred dollars. Where a picture with Denai Guerrero was 50 bucks and we got it for you know two of us the digital print and the copy was seventy dollars plus tax so it came out to be eighty dollars of it and it's a quality picture like that too so with the cast photo it, you can't meet all the cast at once this is the only way to do it so but i didn't want to pay that much money to have a vip pass i mean that that's ridiculously overpriced in my eyes and you're going to wait there so you'll notice when you get to the convention hopefully you're going to go and check one out we highly recommend it but if you go, the booth is there, and there you walked around, and the celebrity might be at the booth, they might not. They might not. They might show up to their booth at 11 o'clock in the morning. People have been there since 9 or 10 in the morning waiting for them. Plus, you're in the line, you're going to wait, and then the celebrity has to go for photo ops. With this photo schedule, they're not going to be in their booth. They're going to be sitting in the, the picture booths for these pictures. So, for example, if you wanted to see uh, Michael Rucker, you know, you can go to his booth, hopefully he's there, but if you if you don't get there early or anything, he's gonna be in the booth here at 345, and then he has the Dixon Brothers picture. He might be in the cast photo, he might not. But definitely Norman Reedus would, would be in the Dixon Brothers picture, the cast photo, and then enormous the Norman Reedus after that. But everyone loves Daryl. Daryl has a big line. Glenn had a big line, Denai had a big line, Melissa McBride, Carol had a big line. Rick was only in the Atlanta one on Sunday. So that's my next point is you need to check and see who's going to be at the conventions. Check online constantly. They update it every time someone gets submitted or canceled or whatever will be there or not. Rick, Andrew Lincoln will only go to the Atlanta one. He might go to the London one next year probably because that's a new one he's from. You know England so we're gonna see where he can do with that if he's gonna be at the actual convention probably I'm not gonna travel all the way there that's kind of crazy for me but they have a couple different lines for next year they have the cruise which is in 2015 January going on that super excited it's out of Miami then they have London Dallas Denver Nashville Chicago Boston and Atlanta again that's what they have right now for the 2016 lineup 
Um, the 2015 at the end of the lap is the New York, New Jersey last one. So we're wrapping up here. So check the websites all the time, walkerstalkercom.com. And it's very important to check out and see who's going to be added to which ones you want to go to, if they're local to your area or not, or maybe you want to travel, have a little vacation. Check out your tickets. We went the general admission route. We thought it was perfectly fine to spend $55 a person or less for the Groupon. I think they're like 60 bucks for two people for the Groupon, which is great. So that plus any of the vendors you want to buy, we bought a couple of different things and pictures and the shirts, the hats, the different little vendors that are there, it's worth it. If you're a Walking Dead fan, it's awesome. They also have other people there from Lost or Gotham or the Vampire Diaries or a couple other ones like the guy from Gremlins was there. Uh, Ming and Mike Zapsik were from Comic Book Guys. They were there. Jay and Silent Bob, Jay was there. They have other people there as well. A couple of people from Scream on there. You might like them, you might not. But majority are there for The Walking Dead. You're there to see... Daryl and Carol and Chandler and you know all the people that, that play the parts on that so if you can guys like share subscribe all that good stuff check out our other videos check out the Walking Dead videos check out the physical therapy videos all the stuff that we have as well post comments see what you want to see ask questions we'll get back to it. we check it pretty regularly and as always guys thank you